You just need to find something to fill the void that's left in your life. You know, Lois has her knitting, Chris has his video games, Meg's learning how to drive, and, and me? I like the sauce. Hey, barkeep, whose leg do you have to hump to get a dry martini around here? Ooh, you got some pie, huh? Can I have a piece? Uh, sure. Ooh, let me have some of that Cool Whip. What'd you say? You can't have a pie without Cool Whip. Cool Whip? Cool Whip, yeah. You mean Cool Whip? Yeah, Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Cool Whip. You're saying it weird. Why are you putting so much emphasis on the H? What are you talking about? I'm just saying it. Cool Whip. You put Cool Whip on pie. Pie tastes better with Cool Whip. Say Whip. Whip. Now say Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Cool Whip. You're eating hair! Is, is, is that a new coffee machine? Oh, yeah, I took the liberty of replacing your old one with a new American-made coffee machine. In fact, I got you a bunch of new top-notch American-made stuff. What else did you buy? Oh, a couple things. That light fixture. New heat regulator on your stove. Your man bra. Your garbage disposal. Your dishwasher. And your new cat. I really like Potsy. Why not, dear? Potsy's a very nice boy. Uh, no, Mom. I, I mean, I really like Potsy. We heard you the first time, son. You have a homosexual attraction to Potsy. You have anything on that remote lower than mute? Sorry to be tardy to the party. Wow, Brian, have you lost weight? You gotta tell me your secret. Here's a hint. Put down the fork! Face! They, they think you're some kind of healer. I'll handle it, Lois. I read a book about this sort of thing once. Are you sure it was a book? Are you sure it wasn't nothing? Oh, yeah. I, I only ask this because of the dire situation I'm in, but can I, can I hump your leg for 15 uninterrupted seconds? I suppose so, Brian. I, I said you could do it for 15 seconds. Didn't need it. Jillian and I have a great time together. We make each other laugh. Fine. But just tell me this, Brian. Does she laugh on her own, or does she laugh only when you laugh? I thought so. Hey. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, you, you gotta hit uh, DVD and then menu and then select. Yeah. Yeah, the, the DVD needs to be face up when you put it in. Uh-huh. You should be able to see the words, Mr. 3000. Yeah. Still nothing? Is it plugged in? Okay, so plug it in. Okay. You got it? Is, uh, okay. All right. No, no problem. All right. I love you too, Jilly Bean. Okay. What? Nothing. I didn't say anything. Wow. A song named after a girl. There aren't a million of those already. Name 20. Rosanna, Roxanne, Michelle, Allison, Sarah, Angie, Brandy, Mandy, Gloria, Cecilia, Maggie Mae, Jessica, Nancy, Barbara, Ann, Billie Jean, Layla, Lola, Polly, Helena, Jenny from the block. Name six more. Sherry, Laura, Wendy, Maria, Peggy Sue, Minnie the Moocher. Name five more. Tracy, Jean, Jane, Mary Ann, Eleanor Rigby. Go fuck yourself. Oh my god, Brian, there's a message in my alphabet. It says, ooh. Peter, those are Cheerios. Well, I've got a woman story for you that you're not going to believe. Quagmire's father, decorated war hero, Lieutenant Commander Dan Quagmire, is now a woman. You're kidding. Nope, total sex change. Oh, that is hysterical. I know, huh? Oh, man, what, what do we call him now? We, we still call him Dan? No, and I'm not crazy about the name change. What is it, like Danielle or Dana? No, Ida. with her! What? I had sex with her at the Marriott! Oh, why? I didn't know! I didn't know it was her! Oh my god! Ah!